Taoiseach, uh, I think there are, are very alarming signs that both the European Union and the Irish Government are utterly failing to learn the lessons, the obvious lessons, of the current public health emergency and are planning to revert to the failed austerity policies that did such damage in the aftermath of the financial crash uh, of 2008 and impose uh, the cost and burden of the current public health emergency once again on working people and on the key public services on which we depend and depend uh, more than ever. The fact that uh, the European Union is opting for loans with conditions immediately uh, the alarm bells of austerity start to ring. They've learned nothing. Uh, those loans, those conditions uh, crippled uh, this country and imposed incredible uh, suffering and hardship uh, on people and were utterly counterproductive uh, the last time round, uh, but we have the signs uh, that they're planning to do it all over again. Uh, Pascal Donoghue's uh, warning of a so-called tapering of COVID payments, cuts uh, in these payments, when in fact the government were forced into acknowledge that really nobody could be expected to live on less than €350, Euro, but now we're talking about cutting uh, that payment uh, and pushing people into poverty, uh, people who are in no way responsible for the fact that they've lost jobs and income. Uh, we are hiring the nurses we so desperately need for the health service on temporary agency contracts, hire them and fire them contracts uh, where they have no rights uh, whatsoever. We have still, as I discovered from Phil Nihay on the phone the other day, not paid the nurses, most of them, uh, the pay award that they won as a result of the industrial action they took last year. In the majority of hospitals, the nurses who are protecting us at the moment have not got their pay awards. Disgraceful. Uh, the failure to intervene to support the Debenhams workers who are outside, who are just being ditched in the most cynical way by a private company still making profits in the north, still operating online services in this country, still operating in the UK, who clearly have used the COVID crisis as an opportunity uh, to ditch their workers and the government. I was talking to the workers outside. They've been emailing ministers saying, nothing to do with us. Nothing to do. There's nothing we can do. That is a very worrying sign for the many workers who may face similar job losses as a result of this uh, crisis. These are bad signs uh, for the future, uh, Taoiseach. Uh, now, it seems to me the absolute inescapable lesson of the current public health emergency, absolutely indisputable uh, conclusion one can draw, is when you are faced with a major emergency and challenge to society, you cannot let austerity and the market dictate the response. We learnt, the government learnt, it had to be the state to marshal all of the resources necessary in order to respond, to take over private health care uh, capacity to respond to a public health uh, emergency. So why would the government want to revert to a two-tier health system? Why would it want to uh, employ nurses on temporary contracts through a private agency and then be able to fire them uh, after uh, the crisis? It makes no men uh, sense whatsoever. And if that's true about a health emergency, it's true about a climate emergency. It's true about a housing emergency. It's true about the need to prevent mass unemployment, which we could be facing in the aftermath of that crisis. But none of that is necessary if the state intervenes with will and marshals the resources that exist in our society. Wealth is not paper money, as we've discovered uh, during this uh, crisis. It's the factories that produce ventilators. It's the hospitals. It's the teachers. It's the essential workers, the retail workers. They are the wealth. They are the ones who have to be protected and resourced in order that we learn the lessons uh, of this crisis. Those truths are staring us in the face, and yet the government seems intent, along with the EU, on reverting to the failed uh, mistakes of the past. So I urge the government and I urge the EU to learn those lessons. We don't have to face austerity and mass unemployment. 
If we take the wealth and resources that exist and put them into a single-tier, properly resourced health service, into resolving the house, housing crisis, smaller class sizes, uh, and redeploying workers who have lost their jobs in the areas we need them, education, health care, uh, uh, public uh, services, we don't need to repeat the mistakes of the past.